Early in July, off the eastern coast of the United States, an armada gathers. Never before have the warships of so many nations arrived off our shores at one time. They've come to take part in an international naval review celebrating America's bicentennial. They've come to demonstrate the maritime nation's reliance on the sea for trade and on sea power, which guarantees the freedom of the sea for all peoples. They've come to profess once again the brotherhood of the sea. The commitment of the United States, a nation born of the sea, sustained by the sea, is no less ardent. In the gathering armada is the French corvette Drogou. In her crew is a chief petty officer, former paratrooper, husband and father, Fernand Gallup. When we are at sea for a long crossing between two ports of call, I think a great deal about my family, my wife, my children. I impatiently await arrival at the port we are bound for, especially to get mail. The nicest time is when you're alone in your bunk and think before falling asleep about your family you left in France. I have been married since 1965. I have three children, three daughters, Sylvie, age nine, Chantal, age six, and Gaël, who is four. We go shopping on Saturday. That's the only day I'm around, and with the children in school that morning, we take advantage of it to do our shopping. For that, we go to an open-air market in Saint-sur-Mer. The produce is fresher than in the supermarkets. The surroundings are very nice. And on Sunday, depending on the weather, if it's a nice day, we leave in the morning with a trailer and spend the day at the beach or in the woods when it's mushroom or chestnut time. We picnic there and return home at night. The children are exhausted. The Corvette Drogou is a very recent ship, the third of a series of 1969 Corvettes. It has a crew of 85, of whom five are officers. Its main object is anti-submarine warfare. For that purpose, we carry torpedoes on board. Then there is anti-aircraft battery and a gun with rockets. Its principal mission is to guard the coast. I am the master at arms of the Corvette Drogou. I am mainly concerned with the maintenance of law and order on board the ship. I have been in the Navy for 16 years. I have served up to now with the Navy commandos. The Navy is important for France, for its representation in every country and its overseas presence at the most important points. It is important that every ship carries very strong weaponry and has a very effective radius of action. France depends on seasoned men like Galop to maintain the standards the French Navy has upheld for centuries. As the ships of many nations converge on a rendezvous point, radios crackle in many languages. From Great Britain, a nation whose seafaring tradition is second to none, comes a flotilla led by HMS London. Her spokesman is a young man from the south coast of his native land. I'm William Lumsden. I'm a marine engineering mechanic on board a Manchester ship London. As a mechanic, you work either in the boiler room or the engine room which is maintaining the main engines. Also on board the ship we're on, we have hydraulic systems which we have to deal with, ventilation systems, all the ship's boats, we have to maintain these. A marine engineer, you couldn't just say he does one thing, he does about, oh, I'd say, you know, 10 different jobs around the ship. If you're watch keeping, you get very little spare time. But if you're day work, that's working like uh, an eight till four, then you, um, you have an evening off, every evening. Time-honored tradition of the British Navy, Bill Lumsden grew a beard on one of his Atlantic crossings. When you get off the ship, it's just you go to your hometown, mine being Brighton. You go from one way of life to another. I'm afraid I've fallen trapped and I'm in love. I want to just, you know, get married and everything. <laughs> well, I've been all around the world, and there's nothing to beat your local pub, the English pub. This is owned by my uncle, and I think it's the best place you can spend your evening. Oh, well, what I think the English pub has got over any other pub or bar or whatever you want to call it over the world is atmosphere. It is a meeting place for every class of person. 
you come in here, you can discuss anything you want to. You can, you can have a quiet drink, you can play darts or bar billiards, you can do literally what you want. It's a friendly atmosphere, there's an atmosphere of English pub that you cannot find anywhere else. We go to London, not that often, we've got friends up there. We do enjoy going to London, something different, you know, because I think London's the best city in the world. When we go up to London, we like to go out either for a meal and to the theatre. You get there and you feel it's in a complete dream world. There are lights flashing everywhere. Everybody just seems happy. It's just sort of a magic. When you're away from, like my fiance, it's, uh, it's a terrible thing, really. It's not as though if you've got a job where you go home in the evening and you're seeing your wife or your loved ones whenever, every night. You know you're going to be away for six months. I think you, you begin to appreciate them more. I really joined the Navy when I was 16. I joined it, I suppose, because I've always had lived by the sea. I've always had a yen to go to sea. I've always had to be on it or in it. As I say, I live here in Brighton, which is by the sea. I think the Navy is important to my country, I think to any country, is representation of that country to another country. I'd say I was a representation of England. I think that being in the Navy makes you proud of being an Englishman. You make yourself proud, yeah, you become uh, be patriotic, I think. The pattern's forming. It's no mystery why men follow the sea. The reasons haven't changed for thousands of years, and they're not likely to. The voice is from the east and belongs to a young gunner's mate, Toshiichi Miyasawa. My rank is leading seaman. My job is gunnery. And I am aboard the training vessel Katori. On the high seas, my duty is watch on the deck and on the bridge. As gunner, my duty is overall maintenance and in particular, the three-inch gun. The life of Japan depends on trade crossing the seas. If that trade were to be interrupted, Japan would definitely be in great difficulty. So Japan has tried to make its defense force absolutely strong. Japan's dependence on the sea is underlined by the fact that for decades, Japan's led the world in the production of merchant shipping. It's at one of the shipyards clustered in the Tokyo area that the Katori goes for major maintenance. Presently, the training ship Katori is at the Ishikawajima Harima Heavy Industries plant in Tokyo for yearly repairs. Usually, we apply paint or take off paint or the Reich. On a day like today, there are also various ceremonies. For example, the entire company assembled for a ceremony in honor of those whose term of service has expired. The reason why I entered the Navy is that I had a yearning for the sea. I wanted to go to places around Japan, of course, and to foreign countries as well. I was born and raised in Fujisawa, and Fujisawa is about one hour from Tokyo, and it takes about 10 minutes from Fujisawa Station to my house by foot. It is a medium-sized city for Japan, I believe. I tell about my family. My father and elder brother work in nearby city government office. My mother does the housework. Fujisawa has a suburban district and the people of Fujisawa commute to work in Tokyo, Kawasaki or Yokohama every morning. In the vicinity of Fujisawa station, there are department stores, markets and many other buildings. Kamakura, near Fujisawa, as the world famous great Buddha. And according to what my grandmother told me, nearly 100 temples. People come from countries all over the world to visit Kamakura. Gunner's mate Miyazawa has found meaning for his life at sea. Through him and thousands of his fellow Navy men, his nation will use to advantage the seas that surround them. Hello, this is Florence, one of the finest, one of the best cities in Italy. 
My name is Roberto Campaini. I was born in 1957 here in Florence and I still live here. On the ship San Giorgio, my function is that of a gunner. That is to say, I work with the armaments. My task on the ship is to take the guard every day and to keep the gun mechanisms in operation. Before shipping out on the San Giorgio, I attended school, a school for non-commissioned officers in Taranto, which lasted nine months. The Italian Navy destroyer San Giorgio, on which gunner Roberto Campaini is stationed, is based at La Spezia, an hour or so's drive from the sailor's home in Florence. He frequently makes the trip to spend the weekend with his family. I go home whenever, for example, I have some free time. In other words, almost every week. Well, I go fishing with my father and my brother is on the banks of the Arno River. There, it is all surrounded by hills and there is an old man with a boat who shuttles back and forth from one shore of the river to the other, carrying people and the motor vehicles. I enlisted in the Navy because I always like the sea. In other words, the maritime environment. What I liked was the possibility I have had to tour the world a bit, a chance I would not have had in civilian life. Roberto Campaini approaches New York on board the Italian destroyer San Giorgio. He comes to be counted. He speaks for yet another nation aware of the demands of the sea and the rewards supported by sea power. My name is Ronald Joe Nichols. I'm an aircraft machinist made first class. I'm stationed in VAW 116 aboard the USS Nimitz. I was born in Van Nuys, California. I was brought up in Van Nuys. I went to school at Reseda High School. Pretty good size school. Went on dates, went to the beach, cruised Van Nuys Boulevard. Yeah, I've been interested in uh, mechanics ever since I mean, he was going to junior high school. Always wanted to come in the Navy. Everybody in my family was in the Navy. My brother's in the Navy. Yeah, my father was a chief in the Navy. I joined right out of high school. Well, right out of boot camp, I went to Moffett Field. I got sent from there to Atsugi, Japan. Coming straight from California. Didn't even want to go. After I got there, I saw how green and pretty it was. Just nothing but trees and, and mountains in the Atsugi area. And I got to meet the people, and I thought the people were just outstanding. The clubs over there, the military clubs were real nice. And my four years there were just great. Then I came to my present squadron now. The aircraft in our squadron are E-2B Hawkeye aircraft. They're early warning aircraft. Now the mission of the aircraft is to act as eyes of the fleet. flight deck you have so many people that are doing so many different jobs and everybody on the flight deck has to distinguish between one another what their job is. Myself I wear a white checkered shirt which means I'm a troubleshooter on the CAT final checker for the aircraft. You have other people wear shirts like yellow shirts they're aircraft directors. You have blue shirts where are tractor drivers which tow the aircraft around put them in their spot. shirts that fuel them. You have red shirts that are ordnance. You have green shirts with are maintenance personnel. And you have a brown shirt which is a plane captain. Once tension's on the aircraft, the yellow shirt again tell the pilot, go to military power. Once the pilot salutes and puts his head back, they know that he's ready to launch. <laughs>
Normally for an aircraft carrier, once your tail hook engages, it would be like instantly slamming on your brakes at 100 miles an hour in your car. Now we have to stay on the starboard side of the ship, keep an eye on the aircraft. The deck crew will taxi it, put it forward to the island. And that's where I come up to the aircraft, ask the pilot whether it's up or down. I check the engines over once they shut down, return to the shop. When the cruise is finished, my squadron's home based in Miramar, California. My home right now is in San Diego. Its weather is beautiful. It is the sister city to Yokohama. We've got mountains around me on one side, and i got the beach on the other side. And I'm 20 minutes from everything. Well, I'm married to a very pretty girl. She's 27 years old. We've got two children, one seven, one six, a boy and a girl. My wife's pregnant at the time. I expect to have the baby in March. I don't mind being at sea, because I enjoy the work. I just don't like the time that I've got to stay away from my family. The most interesting thing about my job is being able to to get a problem with the aircraft and use my brain to troubleshoot it, figure out what's wrong, fix it, and then watch it work. As long as the aircraft can fly, the ship's protected and all surrounding ships with it. The United States needs a Navy to have free seaways, to be strong and let everybody else know that you're strong. Aircraft mechanic Ron Nichols on board the nuclear carrier USS Nimitz. He's clearly one of the brotherhood of the sea. His ambitions, his concerns, his professionalism mirror qualities found in Navy men the world over. But because there are thousands of Ron Nichols in the United States Navy, it's able to fulfill its mission as a leader among the world's navies. Now, from South America, ships from the Brazilian Navy join our celebration. They're based in Guanabari Bay, Rio de Janeiro. My name is José Luz de Azevedo, sou Cabo Paioleiro. My name is José Luz de Azevedo. I am a ship's clerk on the city Alagoas. I am responsible for the supply of everything, spare parts and routine outfitting of the ship. What I like most about the Navy is the travel. Traveling in Brazil, abroad, but as long as I travel. We formed a group of six, all petty officers. Uh, we get together in our spare time to study a, in an extension course. I got married in Natal, in Rio Grande do Norte, when I was in training. My training was given there in the north. It is my home. Then I met my wife, who is from Recife. I have been married for 12 years. We have four children, all born here. Two girls and two boys, with whom I live very well. I'm very happy. On weekends, when his ship's in port, Lucio spends his time with his family. They go to a club for Navy personnel, to the park, and the zoo Quinta de Boa Vista, or to one of the many splendid beaches that line the bays and coasts near Rio, including the world-famous Ipanema, and here at Copacabana. When Lucio was with the crew assigned to accept the Alagoas from the United States Navy, he and his friends formed a band. They regularly give shows on board and in port. When asked where he learned to play, Lucio replies, I learned without anyone teaching me. We learn to play by listening, by hearing. It's in our blood. It's an instinct for batucada, for music. Far to the north, on another continent, the sea is in the blood of another sailor. His ship too, the Royal Netherlands Navy destroyer Tromp, hastens to join this historic assembly. There are three dikes, and the first dike, uh, who is on the sea, is the watchman. The second dike is the sleeper, and the third dike is the dreamer. So there's different names for different duties. Kalansok is a small place, and just behind the dunes, only a couple of minutes from the beach. Yes, the name of the house is uh, Malamok, and Malamok is a special name people give to a, a bird, a seagull, who lives in the northeast of uh, Holland. 
I'm a queer in the past and uh, I'm lives in uh, Kalansoog and that's 45 kilometers north of Amsterdam. My family uh, is, uh, had two kids, two boys and uh, I think they're very nice boys <laughs> and a very nice wife. Well, we, we are a happy family, I think. Shopping we do uh, normally in, in Alkmaar. It's uh, about uh, 25 kilometers from uh, Kalansoog to the south. It's, uh, it's a very nice town, not modern, um, very old, and it is a provincial town. <coughs> my uh, job at, at the ship, my work is uh, during the daytime, the uh, maintenance of the ship, I do this with a, with a crew, about six people, work the whole day on the decks, on the open decks, and at night I'm doing the uh, watch on the bridge, uh, the navigation of the ship. Uh, my rank is uh, quartermaster. I'm now in uh, ten years in the Navy. Yes, it is something, uh, this tradition of the Dutch at sea is something which is built in the people. I think it's uh, more or less a piece of the nature of the people of Holland, working on of in the water and building dice of, of working at ships. I think it is a uh, part of the people. Well, I think it is very important to uh, to have a navy in Holland because uh, we have a merchant marine all uh, all over the world, most every ocean, and they have to be protected. Besides that, it uh, gives you a security, feeling of security, if your family back home safe and your town, your city and your house. And that's something, uh, some feeling you need at sea. The sun, breaking through the summer morning's fog, shines down now in the ships of the navies of the world, pouring through the Verrazano Narrows, past Fort Hamilton, under the bridge, before the Statue of Liberty, and into the Hudson River, an international naval review.
The tall ships of the world have also gathered, reminding us it hasn't been so long since sailing ships filled the Hudson River, bringing us goods, people, and dreams. safe passage over the oceans of the world has passed from wooden vessels to steel ships of the line. Thus, ships and men of the world's navies form ranks in an international naval review. Regardless of the ports from which they hail, each ship, each sailor shares a common understanding, a common task of keeping the seas open and safe for all people. Michael Kane, radar plotter on HMCS Iroquois from Canada. Ken Roger Fikstal from Trondheim, Norway. Daniel Jose Aular, Soy de Venezuela. Gerhard Beermann, Luxembourg, German Navy. Eli Alfasa from the Israel Navy ship Yafo. Egon Massen, Peter Scram, Denmark. My name is Genaro Gurosao, I'm from Peru. Thomas Kanerud, Elsnaben, Sweden. Ve Türk Deniz Kuvvetleri'ne mesuz, Türkiye. Omar Bukato, Liberty Ship, Egyptian Navy. Miguel Vigilo, Republika Dominikana. Sosa Marreiros, Portugal. Ola Naylor, Lieutenant JG, United States Navy. Thank you.